Hey Phoenicians, what's going on? This is Zach, and uh, I, this is a commentary from GTA, but you're not looking at any GTA things right now. What you're looking at is the fact that there's no update file on my downloads. It is 1 in the afternoon here in uh, J in January... Oh my. What am I saying? It's not January. February 14th. I am really tired. 1 in the afternoon. No update files. Usually Rockstar, if they did DLC, we would have an update at about this time of the day. There's nothing. And now I'm not disappointed. I never posted anything saying that there was going to be DLC. I never said anything regarding this. All I've been saying on Twitter and on social media is that we have to be very careful with YouTube and with what we release on our YouTube channels. And, and I never made a video on this, but I'm going to start making some stuff about this right now. I'm going to start criticizing some people in a very respectable manner as to why we have to be very careful about what we post on YouTube regarding uh, DLC or other video games and stuff like that. I'm not disappointed. I am not surprised. I'm not expecting anything. I was never expecting anything at all. Okay? Now, I w do I wish there was some DLC? Yeah, I do. Because I'm a little bit bored right now with GTA. Like, also, they need to have an update on the title. Up they need uh, I can't speak English. They need a title update to fix the severe lag issues regarding the servers, regarding damn near everything else in this game. Because I'm tired of spawning in lobbies where it's just like six people, seven people, and you know nobody does anything. Also, within the game. I might actually, I might just show you this myself in a second here. Why don't I show you right now? This happens a lot. I'm not sure if it's going to happen again, but you go to join contact mission. <clears throat> and it loads for a little bit. And then more loading screens, right? But 90% of the time I end up, you know, if I do a quick job, I just end up in a job by myself. And I thought this was just a localized server thing, but after watching Louis Caliber's video yesterday regarding his issues with the servers themselves, I figured, yeah, it's not just me. It's people all over the world. Let's see, what, what job am I going to get? Okay, so now I'm not going to play this. I'm not going to play this with this guy. As long as I can just get out of here real quick. There we go. But, you know, usually I just end up spawning into a random lobby full of nothingness. And that's, that's been the problem. When I do spawn with my friends, absolutely nothing happens. Like, let's see, there's five people here. Join, actually, hold on, before I do that, let's, uh... Now, I'm, I'm going to say this right now, this is going to be a very boring commentary for some people, but, you know, a lot of you guys have had this issue before, too, right? This is, watch, okay, join friends. And then, absolutely. I have a lot of friends on PSN, so. Fail to find a compatible GTA Online session containing friends. Joining a new GTA Online session, yeah. Happens. Right? And this has been going on for a while. Even if my friends are online and they're in sessions where it's just a few people, I can't join them. And then I get stuck in this loading screen. Like, yeah, okay, now I'm spawning back into a different lobby. In my beautiful load. Oh, I can't move. I'm stuck. Yep. Just two people. See what I mean? Absolutely nothing. I mean, this is this is a huge problem. I don't know why Rockstar's servers are like this right now. You know, I can't I can't join lobbies with a bunch of people anymore. It's really really um, frustrating. The game's boring. The lobbies are broken. GTA needs a title update really soon. Okay? I really don't care what my friend Taiga just did. Get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> the title updates. I mean, everyone complains about lack of DLC. 
I like the title updates because a lot of times they fix problems in the game. Such as issues related to server issues or software issues. And we need one. We need a title update soon. We haven't had a title update since Christmas. And they, they had the servers down for 24 hours or something like that. Not 24 hours, like 12 hours or something like that a while ago. And even since then, the uh, servers have been really wonky. Like, they've been really screwed up. Let's see if I can find a car to sell while I'm out here. You know, and I, I'm just saying. And, but one, here's the thing, though. Um, a lot of you guys who are on my channel, you guys are subscribers of Domus Live, because a huge chunk of you guys came over to my channel when he featured one of my videos on his channel. This was way back, I think, in June? I think I was reporting a cheater. Domus Live saw the video, he asked me if he could use it, and uh, posted it in his video and gave his opinion on it. And then he linked my channel, and then a bunch of you guys came over. This was way back in, uh, way back in June of last year. Uh, so a lot of you guys are well aware of his channel being terminated twice. He got his second channel back, and then, but, uh, you know, he didn't really change what, change the content. And one of the things I've noticed, and, you know, Domus Live, I have the most utmost, I have the utmost respect for you, man. You are, you know, one of the reasons why I'm able to continue doing YouTube because of, you know, you featuring my video. That really helps me out quite a lot. But listen, dude, you know, a lot of your videos regarding, um, you know, it's, a lot of your videos are just pure speculation, and I hate to say this, but sometimes they're a little bit misleading. And, I mean, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, buddy, but it's just, you know, maybe that's the reason why your channel's been terminated twice, because there is a rule saying that you cannot be, you know, having misleading stuff on your YouTube channel, and a lot of, I don't care what my buddy Silver Fox is doing. I'll get into this in a second, actually, not not him, but uh, something, regard, something regarding that, but something regarding the parties, but... Dom, you gotta be very careful, man. You gotta, you gotta be very precise with your videos, and a lot of your videos for the last month or two have been really just a lot of speculation, especially when it comes to heists and stuff. And that's probably the reason why you've had issues with YouTube. Now, maybe it's obvious, you know, maybe it's just obvious that it's just the, um, you know, the report system going bad as well. But, you know, you said your channel was just terminated without prior warning. I've heard of channels being completely terminated without prior warning when those channels violate a multitude of rules. And that may be why you've had issues with uh, YouTube recently. I'm not, I'm not defending YouTube, I'm not, but I'm not defending you either. I'm just saying this is just, uh, you know, if I, if I received information about DLC, I would try to be as precise as possible about it. And also only release the information that is really beneficial to anybody, really. And that's, you know, I, obviously I'm not one of the guys who knows about DLC. I just kind of uh, follow along with uh, Rockstar's Newswire. But I think because of the amount of YouTubers, not just Domus Live, not just Crazy Teddy or you know, some of the other guys, but there are just so many YouTubers out there who hack in... Okay, the last guy in my fucking lobby left. Oh, no, never mind. There are so many YouTubers out there who just get information about the uh, source codes, DLC, you know, a lot of hackers get, who go into the, into the source code and stuff. Uh, they get information that probably shouldn't be released to the general public as of yet because all it does is just create excess speculation. And that's why Rockstar puts off a lot of this stuff. And I feel like it's the reason why Rockstar's put off, one of the main reasons why Rockstar's put off heists for so long. And it's also why Rockstar doesn't give much warning, you know, in advance about, um, I shouldn't say warning. They don't give much, uh, information in advance about DLC because everyone just wants to... I can't open up my mechanic. Whatever, I actually have it over here. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Maybe it's one of the reasons why we don't hear about DLC until, like, the day before or the day of, the, of release. You know? That's the thing. We have to be very... Ew, you're ugly. <laughs> we have to be very careful with what we post on YouTube. Alright. This is just... You know, this is just a general commentary for, you know, you guys who want to start YouTube, who have information like this, or other, you know, other seasoned YouTubers who might know me. Or, you know, this is just for anybody. We have to be... We have to start being very careful. 
I'm not like I said though. I'm not defending Rockstar. I think they they have issues. Maybe it's because they're too sidetracked with heists or sidetracked with other games. But you know, but then again, GTA's had so many issues from day one. You know, with the servers or money. You know, there there was a lot of things. If I was a game dev, I would do completely differently if I was working on GTA. There is just so much I would do completely differently. Because the whole thing has just been a mess. I mean, I, I love this game, but at the same time, it's just, it's like having cable. Like, I can't tell you how many cable companies these days are good. Well, I can tell you how many are good. Zero. And everyone hates Comcast. Everyone hates Time Warner. Everyone hates, uh, whoever. But everyone hates uh, Dish Network, even though they're not cable, right? I don't know why I'm pulling this girl out of her car. But this is just, this is probably the same thing with game devs. You know, we have our game devs who give us the content we want. And then we have... Oh, next request in thir three minutes? What the hell? That's just bullcrap. Whatever, I'll just steal the dominator here. You know, that's the thing, though. We have our game. We have these game devs who make the games that we love, and then they figure out ways to make things, and you know, to make more money by making things incomplete. You know, this is one thing that a lot of people have complained about. But you know, we, we this the game devs have a monopoly over the game itself, right? I mean, that's just inherent, and that's not against monopoly laws. You know, it's just they made the game, we bought the game. But because of the fact that they control the game and they have to keep releasing updates, they decide, oh, we'll just uh, make, um, we'll just make these updates, you know, with the cars and stuff like that. And you buy our shark cards so you can afford the excruciatingly expensive stuff in the game. And then we'll pressure everyone into buying everything and not looking like a complete noob and stuff. Yeah, that's just typical, right? And that's that's what we have today, and that's why video games today are just so broken. You know, ACU, Assassin's Creed Unity. I was gonna buy it, and then I heard how shitty it was from the launch. I'm never gonna buy that game. I'll probably never buy an AC game again. You know, I'm never gonna buy Assassin's Creed again because you know I just I could tell the developers of Assassin's Creed are not gonna drop a good game anymore. And this is why, you know, I was extremely disappointed with Destiny. They just wanted to group us all together, you know, and then have DLC come out that's superior to what whatever the basis was, you know, base was, and you know, pretty much force us to be in the online environment with those people who are superior because of the DLC and they can afford to buy the DLC. Now, thank God, GTA's DLC is technically free. But you know, look at my money here, my level, 274.6 million, right? You know, I've, all I've been doing is just missions, 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 because we already know how, what, what kind of vehicles we're going to get in heists, right? And I'm expecting all those vehicles to be extremely expensive. I don't think 4 million is going to cover it. But am I going to buy a shark card? No, I shouldn't keep having to buy money or buy game money You, you know, after I already bought a game for $60. And you know, and then just Rockstar completely ignores the servers. Hey, just buy some of our stuff. And ignore the servers. Don't worry about it. You know, I think uh, this is why PC gaming has had such a gigantic surge of popularity recently, especially with indie games. You know, I can't tell you. I mean, all the YouTubers these days, all the famous YouTubers, are just, they they're barely playing any of the popular um, what do you call them games anymore? The popular oh my god, the popular console games. Oh my god, I just fucking hell. I landed in the river. There goes my car. <laughs> wow. Uh, shit. Oh yeah, and here, here's the one other bullcrap thing about this game is the insurance, right? I hate having to pay for this stuff. Whatever. Hello, sure. There goes $5,000 out of the 9000 I just got from that uh, baller. Uh, I'm bored, really. 
I don't know what game to buy anymore. I don't, I mean, a lot of the console games that are being anticipated, I'm like, I have no interest in buying it. I don't, I don't even know what's being released anymore, because all I, I mean, all I do know is once it is released, it's probably going to be shit. You know? That's why I'm not buying, um, what is it? That's why I'm not buying Advanced Warfare. First of all, I mean, next gen anything regarding the party system, this is, regardless of it being PS4, Xbox One, it's all screwed up. You know? Second, I think uh, Advanced Warfare just tries way too hard to copy other popular games. You know, it tried to copy Titanfall, it tried to copy Destiny. That's the thing. And like, Eric, let me go back to what I was saying earlier with my buddy Evil Silver Fox joining a party and everything. The party chat in uh, PS4 is actually broken. I think I figured out why my last two GTA, audio GTA videos had shitty audio. It's something having to do with the party chat thing, but I don't know how to get around it. So you have to... Hey, there's a hooker. I just knocked her over. You have to get over that for a little bit until I figure out another way around this. Because the people I play with, you know, I don't, they're not YouTubers and stuff. <sighs> we have cameras, just so you know. I don't give a shit, I just want to buy some stuff. <laughs> Sorry this video's been kind of slow and me just ranting about stuff, but you guys understand probably by, right by now, right? What they're doing. I'm just bored with GTA. This is what I do recently, because I can't join any good lobbies. It's really hard to find a race where people are just not dicking around. It's hard to find death matches that are actually really good anymore. GTA is boring. So what else should I play? What other game should I play that's, you know, that's going to be on console? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. This is another 17 minutes of pure shit, probably, to a lot of you, but I hope you guys understand. But uh, if you did like the video, hit that like button. You should have subscribed. I upload quite often. I try to upload every day now since I'm off. But uh, like I said, forgive me for this really long ranting commentary. And I'll see you guys later.